Hey there, it's one boom, and this is one of the first videos I, I think I've ever done in cosplay. I'm I'm cosplaying as an edgy kid from 2006. I got my Lincoln Park shirt. I got my messy hair. I got a Call of Duty poster. Um, I'm on YouTube, um, and I have uh, an airsoft gun that's translucent. Did you guys ever have a friend? Um, like maybe in your neighborhood or in your school, who had like a translucent airsoft gun with the big orange tip, and would like stick it in people's faces and be like, it's like, you wanna fucking go? You wanna go? I got a gun. I got a gun. I had a lot of friends that did that. And they were really fucking cute. They were awesome. Great, great human beings. Great individuals, actually. It's funny that I think there's a ratio of people that start out doing shit like this, and later in their life become uh, posers. They become something that's like, you wanna fucking go? I have nothing to back this up. If you really wanted to go, I'd be straight up fucked. Straight fucked. I, I think there's a connection there. Uh, but, but speaking of things that are disingenuous, uh, and people that grow up to be posers, I, I have some tweets to share with you guys today, and uh, keep in mind that these are people, these are human beings, they're entitled to their opinions, and I am just a faggot in a Lincoln Park shirt, with Legos behind him, who plays video games and uh, t uh, complains about other people's tweets, because that's a good use of my time, uh, but it is a good use of your time, because I'm trying to be entertaining here, can you tell? So anyway, uh, I'm not going to do that editing, that zoom in editing trick, at least for a while in this video, there shouldn't be any other reason for it. Uh, some user YouTubers that do it all the time. So, I'm going to pull up this tweet here, and I don't want to cover my, my preview, because I like to see what my face uh, looks like, I like to look down, look over there and be like, Hey, that could be better. But here's a tweet from someone. I'm going to share this guy's um, profile picture, picture and everything because he's a YouTuber, I think, or something. He's some sort of like online persona, so I definitely uh, don't mind sharing him. There's another tweet I'm going to show later. I'm not going to show the writer of its face um, because you, people might tweet at them and be like, Hey, fuck you, and that's always douchey. Don't, don't share people's tweets. Uh, with their picture and be like, this guy's a dumbass, because then you you know bring hate to that person and stuff. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna make fun of people, at least be kind. Except unless they're fucking already an online personality, in which case go the fuck at it. Um, I don't know what that was. Okay, so <laughs> here's the tweet. I'm put it on the screen now. Uh, man, but Will Powers at E3 said that he ended up getting drugged at a party at E3 by drinking a drink intended for a girl he was hanging out with. He said, this industry can be super shitty. Well, it, it certainly can. It's full of liars. Um, you probably know that. But let's let's tear apart this tweet a little bit, category by category. I've already recorded this. I didn't like the finished product because I didn't actually tear into the tweet enough. And I really need to do it here. So, first of all, man bun in the profile picture. That's cool. Second of all, ended up getting drugged at a party at E3. Okay, so party at E3 isn't like a frat party, or come to my house, my parents aren't here, I got beer. Um, if you get drunk, you, you can come, come up to my room, you can come to my room and rest. No one's gonna touch you, fucking assholes. Um, it's not that like that, it's, an E3 party is bigger. An E3, an E3 party has tons of people, tons of very astute people, probably a lot of people that aren't even drinking. I would figure, I mean, it's E3, I'm sure you're, you have to be able to drink to be into the party, but I'm sure a lot of people are just there to hang out. I'm just I'm just guessing, again, I'm a fag, I've never been to places like that. I can't stress that enough, that I'm just talking here. But I'm just gonna assume there's a ton of people. So ended up getting drugged at a party by E3 by drinking a drink that was intended for the girl he was hanging out with. Um, no. Why were you drinking their drink? Let, let's, let's try to, get into his shoes, okay? And like, how the scenario went. Hey, yo, barkeep, I'll have a beer, and this lady here will have an apple teeny. Thank you for your, th thank you, sir, uh, for, the, for the drinks that are here in front of me. Um, oh, joke's on you, bitch, it's my apple teeny. I'm a little woozy. Somebody drugged me. But that's like a, but that's like a kind way to put it, like, I'm going to assume the drink was sitting out for a while or something to get someone to get drugs into it. And this guy is also 100% sure he was drugged. I mean, not allergic, not tired, not fatigued, not dehydrated, um, not getting sick. Definitely drugged. Certainly a drug. 
Now, sure, maybe you guys could go to his Twitter after watching this video and see if he says, never mind, guys, wasn't drugged. Found out I have uh, syphilis, syphilis in my pinky. Um, and I was just getting woozy. Uh, something like that, maybe. Um, let me tackle the last part of this tweet that really fucking pisses me off. Uh, this industry can be super shitty. Okay, for one, if, if someone drugs your drink, that's not the industry. That's the community. At E3, the gaming community. People that are there for electronics and gizmos and the, uh, the gaming software. That's what's there. The industry has nothing to do with a fucking jackass spiking your drink. This industry can be shitty. It's like... If somebody watched 9-11 footage and was like, Oh, those those skyscrapers were really shitty. Was it not the plane that crashed into them that maybe maybe made you think that? This is this guy, if he's drugging girls at parties or trying to drug girls at parties, which by the way, why are you drinking the girls' drink and enough of it to be drug whatever. If this guy is going to E3 to drug parties, that's nothing to do with the gaming industry. He's the plane. Whoop pow! little illustration for you guys in case that doesn't in case that's going over anyone's head like there's the plane yeah here comes the airplane Weep. so this is the dumbest thing I could I've ever seen there's so many holes you can poke into that and maybe he's being honest he was at a party he was drinking a drink that his friend was gonna drink and um, and he got drugged and he's mad at the gaming industry maybe that's genuinely the sweet and he's not being dishonest at all, and just because of the 140 character limit, he can't elaborate, he can't get into it. Um, again, maybe he does later on his on his Twitter, you can go check that out, um, and that would be cool to know. People closing doors in my house. What kind of fucking country is this? Um, if the camera keeps going in and out of focus, it's because I'm using OBS, and OBS is a piece of shit, and it won't fucking remember that I told it do not autofocus. So if I do this and stuff, it'll like not freak out because I said it would because that makes me look a fucking idiot this next tweet I'm going to hide the person's face and I'm gonna put up in the corners I'm not gonna do any Photoshop chopping I'm just gonna slide up in the corner and block the person's face and name um, but it is a woman and that's not really the problem but the tweet says and I'll put it on screen right about me nah. and then people wonder why women POC and LGBTQA folks don't feel safe in the video game industry. This is awful. Sure is. Um, what's really fucking awful is that one, you take one guy saying he's getting drugged by drinking someone else's drink, you believe him 100%, and you say that's what's wrong with the video game industry. POC, LGBTQA folks, and women are not safe in the gaming industry. Fuck you, this is, these are the kind of people that say stuff like, Xbox Live promotes sexism. You know what, fucking, it doesn't. It, 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 Xbox Live is a platform for people to go play video games. And guess what? Anybody can. Did you know that sexists do more things than be sexist? They also play video games. And if you talk to them while they're playing video games, they might say something sexist. So, this is nothing wrong with the gaming industry. What's wrong with the gaming industry is that you're willing to fucking say that's the problem with the gaming industry every time a jackass shows up. Keemstar is what's wrong with YouTube. Keemstar is wrong. Keemstar is the wrong is the wrong kind of person. It's the wrong kind of human being. YouTube is not affected by him. YouTube is a great platform for anybody to say anything outside of fucking assholes that use it. Hair check. So, I had to do a Google search for POC and LGBTQA. I knew what LGBT was, I know what women are, um, but POC stands for people of color. And LGBTQA thing, uh, that thing stands for lesbian, gay, bi, transgender, queer, and asexual. Now there is scientific proof that backs that some people are asexual. Nothing to do with their bodies or how they were born, it's a mental issue. Uh, where they just aren't attracted to things. Um, lesbians exist, seen them. Gays exist, seen them. Bi people exist, dating one. Uh, transgender people exist, I am one. Queer people exist, you're one. Ha, <laughs> joke's on you. Ha, <laughs> high five. So, no, I have no trouble with gay people, bi people, or, or sex, or, or I don't care about your sexuality. 
I really fucking don't. I don't care if you identify as a fucking Reese's Pieces or fucking Extra Gum or um, an Airsoft Gun, uh, a Lego TARDIS, I'm using props. Fuck, I don't care if you identify as Call of Duty Ghost or Black Ops, I don't fucking care. You can identify with and with whatever you want. That's totally fucking fine. Um, so I want to make that very clear. Don't fuck, don't start the whole be tolerant thing. Fuck you. I fucking, I, I love gay people. They're my people. Only we can use the word gay. Fucking faggot. Why do you not feel safe? Well, you shouldn't feel safe anywhere. If that's, if that, if this story makes you feel unsafe, then you shouldn't feel safe anywhere. Going to any bar, you could get drugged. Going to any alley means you could get raped. And going to any fucking store means you could get shot. Going to get your mailbox, you could be a victim of a fucking drive-by. It has nothing to do with your neighborhood, Walmart, the specific alley. It has nothing to do with that. The gaming industry is fucking amazing. The, this is what, uh, this industry can be shitty. We wonder why women and gay people don't, and black people don't feel comfortable. How, can you tell me, can somebody tell me a story of a black person within the gaming community that was treated poorly because of their color? Other than the kid that um, Keemstar called, um, and I quote, uh, uh, a fucking stupid nigger. Um, you know, but that's not a reason for black people to not feel safe in the gaming industry. Actually, there's a lot of fucking, oh, sorry, I said it, whoops, community, not industry. That's fucking, fucking, uh, what is it? What's the kind of word that is? It's like, a, it's like a punchline word. It's like a, a shock value word. The, the industry, man. It's the industry. Fucking the industry. It's the industry. Fucking screen cap that and send that to me on Twitter. At the one boom. Either fucking way. What the fuck do you get from that story? That has to do with lesbians, gays, bias, transsexuals, queers. Do they get made fun of? Oh, tell me they don't get made fun of because that would make me cry. Tell me gay people don't get made fun of. No. Because I've never been made fun of. My fucking haircut, my fucking family, my fucking girlfriend, my, my, uh, my, my, my content. I've never been made fun of. No, as, as a privileged white straight male that wears too tight of shirts for his flabby arms, I feel very fucking privileged to have never have had any sort of negativity in my life. Because I like vaginas, fucking assholes. So let's do a let's do a play-by-play -play of why uh, gay people don't feel safe in, in, in the gaming community. Let's, you guys ready for this? It's a good skit. I'm going to set up for it. You guys stay there. <laughs> and people of color? Have you seen YouTube? There's so many black people and Hispanics and Asians and... It's a fucking... It's a fucking melting pot of people. And, I, and I've made the joke on Twitter that YouTuber is French for white straight males with social anxiety. And I think there's a lot of us out there that are that exact thing. But... Black people don't feel uncomfortable in the gaming community because a girl almost got drugged at E3. You feel uncomfortable, lady. You feel uncomfortable. You feel nervous that someone might drug your drink. Well, I have a fucking story for you. That can happen anywhere. That wasn't a story, that was a statement. That can happen anywhere. This industry is amazing. Pointing fingers at the fucking industry every time an asshole enters it is the dumbest fucking thing in the world. You should be ashamed of yourself for, for pointing fingers like an entitled brat. Oh! That one League of Legends gamer said really inappropriate things to his female opponent. Damn you, gaming industry. How about fuck that guy? How about block his Twitter? How about fucking spam him? Why? Why does that have to be the industry? Why does that have to be gaming? This is the fucking mentality. And yo, I'm about to get fucking political in here because I don't fucking care. It's like this. If I fucking... What if I shoot you... With this, and I think you can get in trouble for pointing the gun at the camera. I don't know. I've seen other people do it, though. Why is it that I can fucking shoot you? It's, um, it's not loaded. You guys, you're safe. Uh, why is it I can fucking shoot somebody in the face with a gun, and it would bring up a, a, a talk about gun control, and not about fucking my mental health? Obviously, guns should be hard to get. Obviously, uh, people shouldn't drug other people. It's a fucking attack the person. What, your, your your daughter gets kidnapped? 
oh, this fucking society, oh, God, the downfall of society. No, fucking kill the fucker. That, that's my mentality. Catch the person. Why are we, why did you, hey, um, what was the fucker's name? Hey, Will Powers, did you call the cops? Did you say, there's someone drugging, trying to drug girls around E3? Or did you just lay there going, this is, I don't feel right. E3 was weird. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You're part of the problem. Attack the person doing the bullshit. Fucking point it on the industry. Ooh. Sour fucking taste in my mouth. It's very sour. A little watermelon-y. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys... I hope you guys feel the way I do. If you don't, there might be something wrong with you. I think I'm very, very objective here. There's, I think with a lot of videos, I could say, let me know what you think down in the comment section below and really mean it. But with this, let me know you if you agree with me or unsubscribe from my channel. Because seriously, this is bullshit. Stop fucking pointing fingers at the community when there's assholes running around inside of it. Do you know how you... You don't fucking... Oh my god, did you call security? Will Powers? You're what's wrong with the fucking industry. Feel free to subscribe or something. Like me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. And, uh, subs and, um, like, share, favorite my Instagram. Follow me on Snapchat. Use, uh, code faggot for 10% off of all G Fuel. I dropped my gum. Fucking YouTube.